Hey everyone, um, thanks for coming to our session. Today's session is the power of realizing the nature of mind. So um, this session will cover few points. The first one is introduction to Larunga Buddhist Academy and the Kempo Sodagi. The second one is Kempo Sodagi's talk on the same topic. Um, the third one will go over the important points from Campbell's teaching. Um, the fourth one is Q&A and we're followed by um, guided um, meditation. So um, Larunga Buddhist Academy was established in 1980s as it was founded by Jimmy Pongcho Rinpoche. Since then, it started to become one of the largest and uh, most influential centers for the study of Tibetan Buddhism. It is um, located in China, Sichuan province. Um, as you can see in the picture, um, there's a, a lot of right, uh, the red cabins uh, where the practitioners live. Um, in the peak time, there are more than 10,000 practitioners live there. They are full-time study Buddhism. So this is the um, study hall, which is located um, in the middle of the first picture. Um, there's a lot of um, practitioners here, as you can see. Um, there's a lot of majors. I mean, the Buddhism brand, it's like um, Ham Buddhism, um, and Tibetan Buddhism. In Han Buddhism, there is also have like uh, Amitabha Pure Land. So in different brand, um, the practitioners uh, study um, different textbook and also um, practice um, different like meditation uh, method. Um, so there is like, um, this is like uh, our university uh, have different majors. Um, this is the picture um, is people working around uh, a temple at Larunga. This is, um, this temple are located in a Buddhist academy. Um, as you can see in the picture, lots of uh, like um, um, Han people and Tibetan people, they are um, walking around to the temple. So um, this is the loft or cabins where the practitioners live. Um, as you can see in the picture, um, there the living conditions are not uh, good at all. So in um, winter, they don't have heater. In summer, um, basically in summer there are, at night is also quite cold. I was there like a few years ago on August. Um, we need to um, have like um, two blankets um, at night. Um, but if you go there, uh, you see the people, you are so um, impressed. Um, the people, the practitioners, they're uh, so happy. So there's a very special, unique place. Um, so Kampo Sodagi is one of the spiritual leaders in Nima lineage. Um, as the Varaguru and the Dzogchen lineage holder, Kempo is empowered to transmit Varayana teachings and practice from Tibetan um, to Chinese. He translates lots of lots of uh, text, Buddhism text. So now here uh, we are in US, um, we have a team to translate Kempo's teaching from Chinese to English. So as you can see in the below link, um, it's a campusodagi.org. Um, if you are interested, you can find a lots of teachings there. Um, Campo emphasize a systematic approach of listening, contemplating and meditation. So he has been um, teaching for over 30 years. Campo has a um, talk on the same topic the power of realizing the nature of mind. Um, let's um, watch in campus teaching together. Zen the Chan Xiu, Jiru, Dui Ziji, the Qin Xiu, has you, Hung Hao, the Jiru, 
舒条的这种帮助。我们身体的精彩需要。洗澡啊，洗脸呐，每天都需要擦卫生的。其实，如果内心我们没有这样的高清洁的话呢，到一定的时候，自己的情绪很难控制。这种修行，这种嗯，训练，嗯，这是并不是是修一次两次就可以，应该有长期的这方面的习惯。如果这样的话，逐渐逐渐，刚开始我们的心就是非常不跳动，然后慢慢慢慢就是可以获得看了，获得自在。到一定的时候呢，就自己在生活当中发生的任何事情，你又可以勇敢的去面对，而且对你来讲是非常非常的轻松。我个人而言呢，就是实际上看到很多什么有钱的啊，就有非常高的地位的这些人啊，他好像内心当中确实也并没有特别大的羡慕的心，但我还是很，很怎么说啊，就是很羡慕，就是有一定的这种政务境界的人。因为他们都不管在哪里，在任何时候都是非常会快乐、快乐的，并且呢，他们的所作所为都是可以让这个帮助这个世界、利益这个世界。的确，我们很多人特别有必要，嗯，就观察自己的心，慢慢慢慢的调调节自己的心。在这个时候呢，依靠各种因缘呢，就是最后，呃，你也会知道。嗯，这个世界不管是变化什么样的，但知道是自己内心是什么样。如果你内心真正认识自己的时候呢，那这个世界都是属于你的。发自内心，特别希望我们很多人，就是通过自己的方式来经常观察，比如说我们的快乐的心到底是什么样，痛苦的心是到底是什么样，让我每天追逐事件的各种各样的这个心态到底是什么样。就以各种方式来经常关照自己的心的时候呢，别人不一定能发现，但你自己呢也会到一定的时候，就是哦，原来就是这样的。所以你自己完全明白自己的心到底是什么样。但在这个时候嘛，你根本不会消极的，呃，不会懒惰的。你对家人呢，就是会越来越好。你对这个世界呢，就是越来越负责任；你对社会呢，就是越来越有，有有这种爱他的，就是这样的一种责任感。就这一点呢，我们可能看到世界上是有很多伟大的这种觉悟者，一旦他们真正是觉悟了人生的时候呢，那不可能就是自己住在一个，呃，封闭的地方，自己想了不会这样的，他不是想了主义。他一定会是将自己的真正的爱和智慧呢，就是就传递传递给你有缘的这些生命。Okay, um, in Campbell's teaching, Campbell mentioned, um, it is true that meditation can help us greatly in dealing with our emotions. Just like we need to um bath regularly every day. So we also need to clean up our inner mind frequently. So um, as we practice like mindfulness meditation, um, we also like we um, look at our mind, um, aware of emotions, you know, breath, sensations, thought. That's the、um, practice. Otherwise,、um, we、we'll、easily、um, get、uh, controlled by the emotions. So that's、um, the practice.、Um, since training our mind、um, in meditation doesn't bring immediate result after one or two sessions, so we need to develop a habit of long-term practice. So that means we have to practice meditation slow, steady,、um, with the correct、um, method. So gradually, our mind can become. Uh, pliable and can be liberated. So this is. I also want to mention.、Um, mention this is mindfulness. Basically,、um, it's not enough for the meditation, especially for、um, like really make you meditation、um, grow. We also need to cultivate the love and compassion. And、um, eventually,、uh, we improve our wisdom, and then this is really make our、um, meditation grow.、Um, so then, at some point,、um, 
no matter what happens in our life, uh, we are able to face it easily and bravely. Uh, physically, our mind get trained by the meditation in a correct way. And uh, we have love and um, compassion and wisdom to deal with what happened in our lives. Kampo said personally, he doesn't admire the people due to their great wealth or high position, but he does admire those practitioners who has some level of realization um, because where they are or whatever situation they are, they are very happy and what they do, um, they can help and benefit the world. So um, when we truly realize the nature of our mind, we will know we have mastery over the whole world, no matter how it may change. So our mind is very stable. And, you know, we can also develop some like special capabilities. Like now, um, because our mind is very limited, you know, so if we want to help people, we're helping people in the wrong way, um, lots of times, because we cannot read people's mind. We don't have the like wisdom, um, like how, when, and uh, where to say the right words um, in what kind of a situation. So um, even when we try to helping people, it might not work um, as good as we think. So Campo sincerely encourage all the people to observe our mind with the method we have all familiar with. But here, uh, welcome to our meetup group to learn the Tibetan Buddhism method. Um, it's not just uh, mindfulness. So it's like what the nature of our mind when we are happy, uh, when we are suffering, um, when we are um, a lot of thought arise in our daily life, you know, there are lots of uh, like um, practice um, with proper method where realize like one day and say, ha, this is the nature of my mind. Um, yeah, this is not easy, um, but um, as long as the practice, you will observe more and you will understand more of the nature of the mind. It's not like happened suddenly. It's like the um, gradually steady, slow um, progress. But uh, um, according, following the progress, you will understand more, you will um, observe more, uh, and your mind is more stable, and you will understand the outside of phenomena more so and then this will change our life right so we'll be happier because we understand more and we wanna and then we wanna helping others so when we fully realize the nature of our mind we will never uh, be passive or lazy um on the Contrary, we we'll treat our family with kinder attitude, have a stronger sense of responsibility towards this world, and hold a stronger sense of caring for others in society. Um, from my perspective, I very appreciate my master, Kampo Sotagi. Um, even if, if we look at our masters, his teaching over 30 years, um, even He's sick, right? He also um, teaching almost every day. And um, you can feel um, the compassion from the Kempo. Um, like he really want to help um, the people, you know, whatever um, he can do. He really, really just to try his best to helping the people. Um, so this can be um, seen from the stories of many great enlightened beings um, in the history. When they fully realize the truth of life, 
um, would never isolate themselves from the world and just enjoy um, themselves, right? They, um, instead, they would try their best to spread their true love and wisdom to every being in any way possible. Um, at that time, because um, those enlightened beings, um, they have like um, a lot of like wisdom, you know, um, love and compassion. They were doing, you know, um, the helping other people endless. Um, so um, I would uh, go over again the important different points from Campbell's teaching. So um, the first one, we all need a clean or inner mind frequently. Uh, we need to develop a um, habit of long-term meditation practice, slow, steady, um, grow of meditation. So um, the practitioners who has some level of realization are very happy and whatever they do can help and benefit the world. Um, the third one is um, we fully realize the nature of our mind will never be passive or lazy. Um, or like many uh, great enlightened beings, they will try their best to spread their true love and wisdom to every being in any way um, possible. So next is Q&A session. So I will not cover uh, Q&A session here. Um, and um, analytical meditation, uh, I will not cover analytical meditation here. Um, I would like um, to promote our teachings in Meetup, two uh, very important teachings. One is the, the word of my perfect teacher. This session will happening every Sunday, um, 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Um, Eastern time. This is a guide to the preliminary for the heart essence of the vast expanse from great perfection. Great perfection is Dzogchen, it's, um, it's Lima's um, lineage. So this textbook is written by Patrick Rinpoche, interpreted by Campbell Sulagi. This is a very, very important teaching. Um, the, the, these teachings are transformed a lot of um, practitioners, including us. So um, welcome to this teaching. They, this teaching probably is like two years um, teaching for every Sunday, an hour and a half. So uh, once you build up your um, stable, you know, study um, habit, and then you can see yourself transform slowly with this teaching and meditation um, practice as well. Uh, the second teaching is transforming suffering and happiness into enlightenment. Um, it was composed by the great Buddhist master um, Donro Pen, Jimmy Temple Nima is also Nima's lineage um, and into, um, interpreted by Kempo Sodagi. This teaching can be considered um, a most effective peace instruction among the teachings of transforming suffering and happiness. Um, this teaching will, um, is like every um, Tuesday. Um, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, this teaching also including some uh, Tibetan Buddhism meditation practice. Um, so welcome to join our teaching. Um, so that's all uh, for today's um, session. Thank you so much to uh, join this session. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Thank you.